I mean, control. And we're already breaking enough of them as it is. What Jin doesn't know won't hurt her. This is my call, all right? If the first minister doesn't like it, she can yell at me. Which she almost certainly will. Tell us where to go, control. I'll do my best. But remember, no one's been in that facility for like 25 years. Yeah, that's pretty evident. You're not there to buy a timeshare. You're there to launch an old hammer of gun prototype. And your intel says one of the silos is still intact, right? Yeah, as far as they can tell. Just get Dave to a functional control room. He'll handle the launch sequence. Big Loke Sparrow site in this island. We hatched, we're gonna be waist deep in swarm. This is one hell of a way to come back to Azura. Yeah, but we get those satellites up, we can fry the swarm for more. the ledge. Baird's plan to launch a satellite from here? It seems a little half-baked. Well, half-baked plans are kind of Baird's specialty. How Baird even figured out they had a hammer satellite? My father, before he died, he let Baird in on a few cog secrets. In this island, it has plenty of them.
Hey, over there. Would be useful. Dave, fetch. Didn't expect there'd still be bodies. Only a handful of us made it off Azura alive. Gotta cut through. Okay, let's go. Get back! We're coming down! Guess who? Dave, send a pulse and let's see what we're dealing with. Ah, there they are. Okay, let's put him down! Get in the car! Took him out.
That's all of them. Baird? It's confirmed. Missouri burial site is active. Shit. Okay, Condor's in the air. Let me know if you need reinforcements. We get it handled for now. Delta out. Come on, we gotta find one of those silos. Assuming the swarm haven't ripped them all apart. Hey, I think we can get down this way. I'm okay, all right? Let's just find a silo. For the record, you don't seem okay. I'll live. There's too many active hives. Everywhere we go into the burial site's hatch. All the more reason to get the hammer gone online. Let's hope Jin sees it that way. silos, but it's wrecked. Well, there's two more. One of them's still operational. Hope you're right. We ended the war once on this island. When we get this hammer satellite up, we can do it again. That's the idea, old pal. Control out.
Find out. You guys go right, Marcus and I'll go left. We'll find those silos. Stuff's good. Stay in contact. You sure about this? Silos, two paths. You got a better idea? This looks like some kind of sauce stuff. But is it from a silo? Only one way to find out. Dave. 
Dave, can you get this open? Man, you know what? If they want to turn this place into a hive, let them. It's an isolated island hundreds of miles from shore. Uh-huh. Let's just make sure that happens after we leave. <laughs> Think that gets it. Okay, let's find that silo. Silo.
more up here. You two push ahead. Copy that. Watch it, swarm. down. Thanks for the help. Phoebe's, one of you secure the area. The other's with us. Let's go. Acknowledge. Check that panel. Oh, Delta. 
what the hell did Dave do? Got a lot of strange data here. Top secret stuff. Uh, as far as I know, he's opening a door. He's doing a lot more than that. Well, either way, the door's open. Thanks, Dave. So, that data Dave just downloaded? There's a big hole at the highest security clearance. How does this relate to our mission? It doesn't, but now I need to know. I'm guessing whatever's missing was pulled from the network. Well, who'd have the authority to do that? Back then, uh, only the facility commander. Find his office and poke around. Okay. We'll go. Scanning immediate area. Detecting all inferior pod technology. <laughs> oh, come on now. That's just me. Concerns. Please call or write to the Ministry of Settlements. This will do. Found something here.
right. Let's find that office. facility the commander's office even look like? Well, I don't know. Like a big door, nameplate, maybe commander written on it. This is it. <clears throat> Not the commander's office.
Dell, commander's office is through here. This door is locked. Maybe there's a door release in there. Just gotta get Dave inside. Look around for an air duct or something. It's gotta be big enough for Dave. Dave, go through that vent and find a release for the door. So, Baird once lost data, huh? What does it even look like? Well, if it got pulled from the network, it probably got stored on some kind of external drive. <laughs> nice one, Dave. Commander's office. Let's look around. Safe. Good place for secret data. Dave, get this open. Control, good news. We found the data drive. Appreciate it, Delta. Hey, know what we'd appreciate? Some backup. What? Where are you? The silo. We found it. And they're all over us. Oh, shit. We're on our way. This way. Nope, dead end. you guys to show up. Oh, no problem. Is that rocket attack? It is, believe it or not. Good. Then find a port for Dave to plug into. If it checks out, he'll initiate the launch.
Marcus, you know Jen pretty well. Just how angry is she going to be with us launching this thing? Uh, I'd say somewhere between an ulcer and an aneurysm. I'm okay with that. Let's get Dave connected to the controls. Honestly, we're just lucky the swarm didn't rip this thing apart. Clock here. Let's initiate the launch. Start the launch. It's all yours. Control, you're in. Start the launch sequence. Pressurized. First stage. Opening silo doors. Error. Error. Uh, Error. Delta, we have an issue. The silo hatch. It's not opening. Oh, of course. I knew that seemed too easy. Baird. Options. Bug out. Blast doors aren't going to protect you from an exploding rocket. All right, then we call it. Let's go. Hydraulic external power to off. No. We get that hatch open. What? Kid, listen to your old man. You got to get out of there. Damn it, he came here to do this, so let's get it done. Ignition test commence. Good luck with that. Let's well, get that hatch open. So what's our plan? I don't know. There's gotta be a manual override near the top. We'll find our way up. Idea, man. 
How about I see Jen first? I'll calm the storm before you brief her. I'm sorry, is this Sergeant Phoenix being diplomatic? You can call her what you want, but we're at war, even if it doesn't feel like it yet. We all have to be on the same page. Yeah, well, I mean, if you think it'll help, then sure. Wish you'd have been this willing to listen back at that silo. Hey, it worked out, didn't it? Listen, James, word of advice. Stop trying to prove yourself. Just do the job. Dad, I took a necessary rest. Necessary means you have no other option. That wasn't necessary. And you know it. What was that about? What do you think? Same thing it's always about. Hey. You know it's just because he cares, right? Yeah, well, you know a hell of a lot more about him caring than I would. Okay, um, yeah, um, we're just gonna go inside. Come on, Dave. That was a shitty thing to say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. The thing is, you two are more alike than either of you want to admit. The data is in front of you, Damon. What? what? That's it? I thought the new satellite would automatically link to the old ones. He cannot find them. 
without regular scheduling from telecommand, tracking accuracy degrades. Thanks a lot, Iris. Your vocal sentiment does not match your words' literal meaning. Thus, you are not actually thanking Please stop me. talking. So, I still can't find the other Hammer of Dawn satellites. On the plus side, I accidentally invented an AI that understands sarcasm. Here, that data drive you wanted. Maybe it'll help. Find lost satellites? I doubt it. But I'll take a look. Wait, hang on. Did we do all that for nothing? Oh, it'll fire. But with only one working satellite up, it'll be tough to control the beam. Ah, uh, what's wrong with Dave? Dave had a few problems. What kind of problems? Hmm, uh, that kind. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. <sighs> Everyone, meet the new Jack. When the hell did you have time to build this? When did I have time to build this? This is what I do. I sit here making stuff you guys don't appreciate and inevitably break. Okay, so what's different about him? Whole new range of behaviors. Improved scanning, augmented combat and support modules. He's literally one of a kind. Mm -hmm. And... And he's... All yours. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bazillion 40-year-old satellites to find. Dave, there are only 15 missing satellites. Thank you, Iris. More sarcasm to add to your growing library. Before we begin, Damon, the combat module you brilliantly designed is now ready. My use of brilliantly was intended to be sarcastic. Did I succeed? Follow me. You'll want to equip this new module ASAP. It'll make Jack combat ready. Oh, I'm gonna dig this. Jack, what I've been calling Flash. It blinds, stuns the enemy. Installed and equipped. So, how do we use it? I'll show you. Over here. Okay. Grab a weapon and get into cover. Then we'll start the test. Hurry up and grab a weapon. Now, get into cover. A 
this will do. If you don't get into cover, I keep virus. Activate Alpha 331. Certainly, David. So, say you've got a target that seems awfully comfortable behind cover. Jack's flash ability fixes that. Aim at the DB and activate. See what happens. Reloading weapon. All right, finish it. Got it. Test sequence complete. Huh, that could be useful. Now, let's try it again with multiple targets. Iris, activate Alpha 332. Incoming, Damon. Jack's got to reroute power between flashes. Once he's recharged, hit him again. Unit reloading. <laughs> Unlawful citizens, I get a lot. Reload initiated. Reload initiated. Reload initiated. recharging. Sequence complete. No offense, JD, but uh, Jack's my new best friend. I'm very happy for you, for both of you. But now I need you to return your weapons to the weapons locker and get out of here. Uh, uh. Are you trying to get rid of us? Oh, you noticed. Anyway, you can boost Jack's abilities if you find the right components. Before you go see Jin, stop by the armory. They might have one you can. Barbara. Oh, we will definitely be doing that. Good. Now I can get back to work. What Damon means to say is that he has more important things to do. Thank you, Iris. Bluntness is one of Iris's more commendable traits. I wonder where she gets that from. So there. I know you were kind of mad when Jen shoved you in here. How do you like it? Oh, I, I'm enjoying it. The workshop's quiet, peaceful. Damon is not being truthful. Shortly before you arrived, he was highly critical of the First Minister, referring to her several times as Let's a... not get into specifics, Iris. Also, why did you tell him that? I detected genuine personal concern for you in Corporal Diaz's intonation. I thus judged it appropriate to inform her how you truly feel. Who? Inappropriate sarcasm. Incompetent nurturing instincts. Iris, are you sure you're not secretly my mother? Whoa, that smells less than great. to learn I've located one of the missing satellites. Iris, great news. Where? Yeah, never At here. the bottom of the Garosnian Sea, approximately 15 miles from shore. Oh. Apparently, it fell from orbit. Huh, <laughs> oh, anyway. Really shaved yeah. our asses last night. Your deductive powers are truly impressive, Iris. And you, Damon, are quite handsome. I intended that remark to be sarcastic. Close together, yeah. Fully operational. Does Sam get down here much? You know, uh, when she can. Damon and Miss Byrne are currently experiencing relationship difficulties. 
My God, I've created a monster. Oh, well. Iris, go ahead. Explain. Miss Byrne would like to commemorate their long-running but non-marital relationship with a tattoo. Damon, however, is frightened of needles, thus the impasse. I am not frightened of needles. Damon is exceedingly frightened of needles. In fact, I would categorize his fear as classically phobic. Bear, get a tattoo for your special lady friend already. Anything else you'd like to share, Iris? Our lovemaking frequency, perhaps. I fail to see why that would be of any interest to your guests. Decorum. Amazing. Barrett, sorry, but we should get going. No worries. Do your thing. Come on. Hey, Foz. How's life in Jin's rear echelon treating you? Brilliant. But then we can't all be off on some secret mission. Oh, yeah? How'd you hear about that? This is an army, not a monastery. Yeah, okay. Well, look, we'll just leave you to the very important work, punching machines. And sparring. Hang on a second, shit stick. Shit stick? No, theories? I don't know. Maybe a stick made out of shit? Or, or a stick used to stir up shit. All right, fuck off. How about we make this interesting? You and me, spar, right now. And how exactly is beating you interesting? Yes or no? <laughs> you want in on this? Pretty sure what's actually being measured here is gonna leave me at a distinct disadvantage. Then again, maybe not. Hilarious. Are you in or not? Oh, I'm in. Come on, man, let's just grab a jack opponent and get out of here. No, this will be fun. How's that fun working out for you? Try it again, Foss. Come on. Here's the thing, Foss. The bottle's far with you, but not beat you. It's against their programming. But explain. Your false confidence. Quite a bit, actually. Want some advice, Phoenix? No, I'm good. Jin does love her golden boys. But never for very long. See, that was fun. Fuck off. All right, man. Now that Fa's fun time's over, can we go find that component? I gotta tell you, that cheap shot? Mm. Chef's kiss, buddy. Chef's kiss. I'm done with this day. And it's not even noon yet. Ah, Look, here's the component we're borrowing. Or stealing. I prefer borrowing. Indefinitely. See what it does.
say. I'm loving the new Jack. Can't wait to test him out in the field. Try to contain your excitement. We still have to go to Jen's office. Yeah, Dad's probably had enough alone time with her by now. Man, Foss left his locker open. <laughs> There's a stink bomb when you need one. get used to the field of view in those things. Enough's enough. You gotta see someone about these headaches. I will. I promise. After we talk to Jen. Let me be perfectly clear. When it comes to this weapon, I don't share your optimism. It's the first time anyone's accused me of optimism. Yes, well, I'll remind you your wife refused the idea of bringing the hammer back online. I would have thought you'd respect Anya's wishes. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. For both our sakes. Anya would have wanted you, you to- You don't get to talk about her. If that's what you think, I won't argue. You and that goddamn fertility program. A program that gave you your son. And mine. I honor Anya. I loved Anya. I don't care if you believe me. When my program was in its infancy, she came to me. She volunteered. Both times she volunteered. Seeing First Minister Stroud undergo treatment. Do you know how many children are alive today thanks to her? She should be buried here, you know, with the All Fathers. The people need her inspiration. Your inspiration was my wife. First Minister, Lieutenant Phoenix and his squad. Send them in. Ah, Lieutenant. I'm told you had a successful mission. First Minister, I can explain. By all means, explain when Damon Baird superseded me. Explain how launching a Hammer of Dawn satellite doesn't require my explicit approval. Same page, huh? Lieutenant, the Hammer of Dawn has taken more COG lives than most of the armies we've opposed. Your father knows this as well as anyone. It's not the weapons I don't trust, First Minister. It's the people who use them.
The Hammer of Dawn will not be brought back online. Ah, that'll be a report on the evacuation of Settlement 2. Settlement 2 is being evacuated? Why? There's been activity in the nearby burial site. Chief Carmine, report. Oh, no, we're under attack. We need immediate help. Please, slow down. No. Mobilize the 4th Division. We'll take command of the reinforcement effort. Do it. Go. James, we're getting close. Where do you want me to take? Main gate. Keep anything else from getting inside. You realize I'm the ranking officer here, right? And we'll reinforce Carmine at the town hub. I can't believe we're back here. We did our duty. You need to get over it. Get over it? Guys, not the time. Cole, let's see what we're dealing with.
much farther than they hoped. Then we better move it, Delta. Corporal, they're faster than they look. Delta out. Convoy. Yeah, Lizzie's from the speed of it. The best driver we got. Prime moves. Yeah, she knows it. Come on, let's cut through this building. Sorry, Lieutenant. No harm, no foul. What are you doing here? I lost our DBs and we've got civilians holed up in here. Lizzie, Delta requesting civilian pickup. Sector 8, apartment complex. Copy that, Delta. I'll circle back. Thanks for that, Lieutenant. No problem, Private. Come on, Delta. Glad you showed up when you did, sir. Sorry again for the air and fire, Lieutenant.
here to pick us up? We're not, but the convoy's on the way. Sir? Loco. Let's go, Delta. The settlement's getting attacked. Feels like we've been trapped here for hours. Charge! 
Charging!
take that. Lizzie, you good to go here? Yeah, just gotta round up those civvies you found. Delta, Carmine's squad just got overrun. They're hunkered down with civilians inside the tower. They're not gonna last if you don't get there soon. They need you at the hub. Go! You can get there through the park. Gates by the steps. All right, you heard her. Let's move. Come on, through here. 